What is going on, everybody? How's it going? It's Sunday night. Hopefully, everybody had some sales today. Let's see who's out here. Gail finally got it back. She got here first. Nevermore Antiques. Adam, how are you doing? Catherine, Giga. Good, good. good to see you back again. Patriotic resale check. What's going on? Adam has an early appointment tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be a quick show tonight. Didn't get much. See what I took from Patriotic Resell Chicks, uh, Goodwill. Full of Grace Pickers. What's up, Michelle? Mute chat, Chris. What am I supposed to mute chat, chat for? All right. So uh, I wanted to show you what I bought today. It was uh, not much. Uh, not much. Uh, new things I got from the thrift store. A ton of sales this weekend. Looks like everybody had a couple. Full of Grace had three. Uh, who else had some? I had, let's see, one, two. I had two today. Oh, my globe. So my globe sold. I don't know if you remember my globe. Sold that for 32. All right, so I sold that. James had 13, nice. Eight, one for Catherine, that's good. All right, it looks like I'm spinning for some strange reason. 12, AJ had 12, so I had two today, and I had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six on Saturday. Two, three, four, five, five on Friday. So, Good day, good day. Um, yeah, the Globe sell, Carol. That's crazy. Sold it for thirty-two bucks. William, what's going on? All right, so the biggest sale, and I couldn't message the person for some strange reason. I don't know if uh, it's an eBay thing or what, but Adam didn't have any sales. Joey, what's going on? All right, so. I bought, you guys remember this? I bought this for five bucks. Uh, sold it for $99. $99, and it's going out global shipping. Um, person only has five or eight feedback, so I'm nervous that uh, I tried to message them, but I couldn't connect to it. But sold for $99, bucks, 5 dollars buy, so that's a good flip. Want to know what it costs to ship that globe? Catherine, I will let you know. Joey had one sale. Adam had zero. Stay away from Delaware Park. Sold one pair of boots to the same person on two flat platforms. That's awesome. That's, that's a pretty good flip there. Um, so, yeah, the guitars are going out. I sold those for 99 What else did I sell? All right. Uh, Lana Del Rey sold that for 20 Tested that. That's going out. I told, told you I told you guys last night uh, that my Johnny Coltrane, John Coltrane, sold. Oh, you sold one pair of boots. Oh, I misread that. One boots to the same person on two platforms. That's crazy. Not awesome, she says. That's funny. I had to cancel on Poshmark and sold it back to them on eBay. Oh, that's not bad. Were they understanding about it, though? I'm not sure how Poshmark does on canceled sales. So I stay away from Poshmark just because you have to build up your following and you have to follow 5 million people before you uh, get sales, sells, but sales, I should say. Best, besides eBay and Amazon, where do you sell? Uh, locally. So I sell a lot of that stuff locally. Not a lot, but mainly the stuff that I can't ship. <laughs> Anyone have a problem with eBay delisting sold items? No, I have not had that. Um, uh, I've heard of issues where you get charged for uh, revising listings. I didn't, haven't had that. Um, yeah, so it, it's been, uh, it hasn't, no issues here. Has anyone else had that? Pac-Man asked the question. Good question. Adam has. All right, so I sold this Tesla hat. Sold that for 20 
this thing's pretty much brand new. It, once I listed, there were a ton of watchers. If you can find Tesla, go for it. It's a fitted hat, which is nice, um, but there's no wear on it. You saw this last time, 20 bucks. Easy 20, bought it for two. NFL channels playing, replaying the Super Bowl. All right, so I sold this for seven. All right, bought it for seven, sold it for 30. It's a thermostat, programmable outlet thermostat. I've never heard of it. This was in the VHS bucket, which was weird. So uh, it caught my eye out of the corner of my eye, still stapled, never opened. But yeah, there you go. This, I was surprised this sold, and I bought it. There wasn't really many out there. I uh, bought it for $2, and I sold it for $25. Uh, I didn't expect it to sell, so it's pretty crazy that that did sell. It's uh, 164s of uh, Indy 500. Charlotte had a listing disappear. I've heard of that stuff just randomly disappearing. So th that stuff, what else did I sell? The hat I showed you. All right. I've had a few lately that have auto relisted, usually multi quantities. So my only issue lately, or not lately, that I've had is I'll go in and I'll relist something, and I will forget to uh, to change the quantity because it was a multi quantity listing, and uh, I've sold a phantom version of it. But uh, that's my only issue, and that was user inflicted. Pacman don't sell similar with items that have multiples. It lists the original amount. Yes, that's just what I talked about. So you hit it right on the head, Adam. I've done that, and it's I got burned, I think, twice. But I've read about people uh, messaging, messaging the people and saying, hey, I, I uh, listed multiples by accident. Would you like me to cancel? Once the buyer says yes, then they can cancel under the uh, buy requested cancel so you can not get a defect. But do it how you will. All of my new with tags item ended up in my ended listings, and they were listed good until canceled. See, I've heard of that too. That def uh, that uh, bug, it's never hit me. Uh, all of my good till canceled have stayed out there. My unsold bucket, there's only three. One I listed on Amazon. Uh, one I sold locally, and one I sent into Amazon. So I've never had that, and I've heard of that patriotic, but uh. I don't know why that's happened to people. Pac-Man, I know, Adam, but when it sells out, somehow the listing is gone. Really? Yeah. So it sounds like a delay. Hey, Scott L. The, I've had some delays where um, my notification won't come through for a couple of days, and all of a sudden it comes through, but I already shipped the item. I've had that happen. Uh, usually when someone buys something, I'll get the, you have sold something, uh, two eBay's things you can ship it and then I get the PayPal alert so I get all three at once but if uh, if one delays that's usually what happens all right so I didn't show you guys this I bought this last night or yesterday brand new sealed I did not catch it at the store because I was looking through it it had a hundred fifty thousand rank on FBA I was gonna send it in Luckily, I was looking at it and double checking, but it's a uh, poker machine, po uh, poker electronic handheld. And you can see right there, looks like the uh, right there, the LCD cracked. So I almost sent that in. I was going to send it in, in tonight, but yeah, I almost sent that in. So luckily, uh, I won't. I'll probably just list it on eBay. I'll give it a shot there. So am I spinning? So it might cut now for anyone else. I have my router. Yeah, good save. Yeah, I was just about to send it in too. I thought it was weird too that the instructions were coming out. All right, so uh, last thing, guys. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. All right, so I picked up two things today. Um, Under Armour, I always pick up, no matter what, usually. But this one still had the tag attached. It looks like, or the, the string. 
It looks like the tag got ripped off. It's an Under Armour golf shirt. Now, Capital University is a university in Columbus. I think it's Westerville or Bexley. It's a suburb of Columbus. But uh, I picked it up, brand new, never worn. Uh, if it doesn't sell, I'll probably just keep it. What, what would you guys list this at? Brand new golf, golf shirt. Hold on, let's see if I can show you what it is. Brand new golf shirt, Under Armour. You can see in there, extra large. There's the logo. Black, no stains, nothing, no rips, no tears. Under Armour sewn in on the side. But brand new shirt. I have an idea. What do you guys think? What should I list that at? James is 27. Nevermore, 14. See, I like the I like the difference in prices, how you guys put it out there. It's it's interesting to see how um, everyone with price items, especially clothes, since I suck at clothes. But here, I'm going to get this out. All right. So like new without tags, $29.99 free shipping. Adam says, resale says 27. Catherine, 29. Nevermore says 14. James is 28. Scott, I bought three gold Yahtzee games for two, from 2001 for $2. I ended up selling for $70 each. Wow. Scott, you find some crazy stuff. Yeah, I suck at clothes. So, Pagman says 20 plus ship. All right, so it looks like between 20 and 30. Let me put that down. 20, 30. All right, so that's one. That's one item I bought today. Total expense was... Um, see you, Donna. Hopefully your internet or my internet gets better. If anyone else says it hasn't that issue. Scott's is $17.99. I picked this up and the name rung a bell. Uh, as, as I was looking through things, the name kind of in the back of my brain said, pick it up. So I did. Um, it is a warm up, warm up zip top. Now I don't know if it's women's or not, but doesn't say it is a Peter Millar zip top now how would you guys know if it's a women's or men's price a little high then go down if you have to so Peter Millar there you go so this is the Kiowa Kiowa golf course can you see that so right there it's got this on the arm Fitch ratings it's like a standard and pours I looked that up um, Patriotic says men's good store, big, good score. Uh, Joey didn't go to Goodwill today. Was a good boy. Is that a guy's brand? I don't know. That's my question to you guys. So there you go. You can see here, Peter Millar. You see that? Yeah, there you go. Peter Millar E4. It's got the logo on the back. It's got a zipper. It's kind of cool. It's got a zipper right there, and then uh, that's it. So. A zip up is is the zip opposite side for female, I think, says Mike. What would you guys, so what would you list this one for? James says 29. All right, so let me unzip it here. Zipper's on the right. That's a guy, right? Zipper's on the right. Pretty sure it's a men's brand. I know they make men's, not sure if they make women's. Patriotic Resell Chick says, I've never seen a women's Peter Millar list for at least 34 88 all right, so here it is here. Right side, right? Right, right? Correct? There they go. Right side. I'd say that's... James says, I've never seen a woman's Peter Millar. All right, so at least 34. I like, so that's good. I'll do 34.88. Anyone else think I should go higher? 35, okay. 35.53. Catherine, I love your prices again. 35.53. Uh, again, I bought both of these for ten dollars. I think, or a total ten dollars. I think this was higher. So this was patriotic. I got this at the Hilliard Rome outlet or outlet Hilliard Rome store. I went today. Big Brother says higher. What do you think? Forty nine. I was I was contemplating forty nine, but I didn't know if that was too much. Just because, and again, I watch everyone's reselling channels. Everyone's. If uh, everyone has a channel, I watch you guys. I put it on in the background. I heard this name, 
Um, I think I heard it from Luke, but the name rung a bell, so I picked it up. Golf uh, golf courses can drive the value either way. That's true. That's what I wasn't sure of, right? It's already branded. So if someone's looking for a South Carolina, Kiwa uh, golf course, Pac-Man, I did. I searched for Peter Millar and the Solds uh, zip tops. Uh, they were selling anywhere between 30 and 40. Uh, I guess just at a quick looks, quick look. The crazy cards is 35. Yeah, I, so I did look it up, but um, here, let me pull it up here. So I still have it saved. It was like I didn't, I didn't shop much today. Do you guys ever feel like when you don't? Chris tried on. All right, I'll try it on. Do you ever guys feel like when you don't go to a thrift store or the bins that you're missing out on all this ton, ton of product? I feel like that when I don't go. All right, let's try this on. It's an XL, so it should fit me. Oh, it's pretty snug. Are they supposed to be snug? Roll the dice and try an eBay auction. This is this is supposed to be an extra large. I don't know. Wow, let's, look at that. Oh, Peter. Lo See, I think this is men's long tail. The right person. I agree, Mike. I like the long tail. This feels really tight. It's got the ribs up here, so I don't know if this is women's. Adam says that's why he said it. See, this is really tight. Uh, a boy's XL? Oh, I'm going to take this off. Ooh, it does look small, doesn't it? Um, Darren missed the show. He was at the Goodwill. Uh, it doesn't say. It just says wicking uh, span, it's price XL. There's nothing on it. Looks good. Thanks, Diesel. So, yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm looking at the tag here. See, this is why I'm nervous to listen to this stuff. There's numbers on it. There's tags. There's nothing on tag. The only reason I believe it looks like a woman's just because of this. If you look on the, the top of the, the zipper, it is pleated. So I don't know if that would be on a men's shirt or not. All this stuff, I've never had a pleated pullover, pull top. Ah. Does it have numbers by the size? It does not. James has listed the measurements. That, see, that's what I hate about clothes, listing measurements. Um, there's no numbers. It just says E4. That's it. 14 to 16 XL is a boy's XL. Men's clothing only. Just Google it. Okay. What is men's then? So I guess I'll have to measure this. So just to put it in the listing to make sure, but I will measure. Measure. Shirt. All right. I'll give it a measure. Maybe it's supposed to be form fitting. So who knows? But we'll see. Just sold an ink cartridge that I listed less than three hours ago. It's outdated by like almost a year. Slim fit. There you go. I'm not slim anymore. Scott says, uh, you guys ever go into the store and buy more clearance items, even though you still have a lot of items you haven't shipped to FBA yet? Scott, I have a buying problem just like you. Uh, I buy it no matter what. Patriotic. Oops, I lied. They do make women's. You need to find skinny jeans to go with it. I'll put on. Uh, try and get into some of my wife's jeans. There you go. Michelle Lathan found it. Yeah, Scott, I buy a ton of stuff. I always, if I find something, I won't leave it. Women Lauren Stretch Terry Lair. Is that what it is? Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be women's. This thing's too tight. So it looks like Peter Millar makes women's stuff. Interesting. And it was in the men's section, which is crazy to me. So let's see. I just pulled it up. Peter Millar, Stretch Loop, Terry Lange, quarter, full zip right here. Uh, 14 bucks. That's a sold listing. Copy link address. Okay. This one looks to be like it's a, uh, a logoed shirt as well. It is pre-owned. So I will, if that's the case, I will play long tail on it. There, I just posted the link in the, the chat. Hit that link. That's the link that I found. Uh, has your death pile increased? So if you want to call my death pile, 
is really my listed close close pile, then yes. Uh, so I don't know if you could see. Uh, my clothing is growing rapidly. So you can see my clothes right there. Those are listed. Those are in draft status. And there's all my clothes that I have. The Oregon Duck sweatshirt that I listed. I have all that stuff there. So I'm playing long tail on all that stuff. Uh, I have it up pretty pretty high, so we'll see. If you ordered an XL like that, yes, I would be upset how that fit. Uh, they always have women's and the men's, especially jeans. Yeah. Liquidation lots? Uh, yeah, they're still high. I'm going to look this week, see if there's any, but I haven't touched them recently. Uh, I need to get it back on there and look at them. So, definitely. Yeah, so it looks like this is probably a woman's shirt. But the E4 wicking, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. But yeah, so my death piles, if you want to call it, the piles that are unlisted have gone down, but the unsold stuff has gone up, at least in clothing. So I'm working on it. Always look for huge jeans. There's never more antiques. All right, I'll have to check that out. 50 plus, wow. I will definitely have to keep my eye out. Uh, next, the last thing on the list probably tonight is this Beatles remastered album. I just tested it. I've had good luck with albums lately, so we'll see. But yeah, there you go. All right, everybody. That's about all I had tonight. Quick show tonight. Anyone have anything else before we hop off? I appreciate it. I'm probably going to list this as a women's. I will list the listings on, or the, the measurements. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna let I'm gonna put the prices up that you guys said. Uh, Nike golf shirt, Under Armour. I will put that for. Uh, I think I saw thirty five. I'll do both both for thirty five fifty three. How's that sound? We'll give it a shot. But yeah, if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, thanks for coming on tonight, Sunday night. Hopefully, you guys uh, get some listing done tonight, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and. Hopefully you learned something new about Peter Millar. It can be made in women's. See ya.